Sonia, you! There are definitely no games scarier than Outlast 2, the new hit sequel by Red Barrel Studios. This game continues in the same style as its predecessor, with painful difficulty and heart-pounding getaways. Let's see how Outlast 2 compares to the first. Check it out. Outlast 2 follows cameraman Blake Langerman in southern Arizona, who traveled with his wife, Lynn Langerman, to report on the mysterious murder of an eight-month pregnant Jane Doe. When hunting down some evidence regarding the murder, Blake and Lynn's helicopter went down, with Lynn having disappeared mysteriously upon Blake's return to consciousness. Now it's the player's job to find Lynn and investigate the story of all the curious happenings occurring in the area. In terms of progressing the story and continuously scaring the player, Outlast 2 improves on the first in the series with some new clever mechanisms, but looking closer at the storyline shows blurred lines of confusion and inaccuracies that leaves the player as lost as Blake's wife. We believe that with some additional information presented in Outlast Whistleblower, certain confusing points will become much clearer. Throughout the game, players collect evidence and recall memories in order to progress and support the story. However, the indirect storytelling and the multiple story arcs is extremely hard to follow and can sometimes leave things unanswered. This was very unlike Outlast 1, which did a great job at tying up loose ends, creating a neat package and a great game. The addition of the Whistleblower DLC should help clear up any questions in the Outlast universe. At this point, I don't believe it's fair to confuse players by requiring them to play through all three games in order to understand one, especially given that some are quite dated in technology at this point. Such a beautiful game and a beautiful story shouldn't need additional information for clarity. But, for those who aren't as focused on the Outlast story, Outlast 2 is still an intense and terrifying game that flows terrifically, keeping the players on their toes scared about what's to come. Simply put, Outlast 2 is a solid horror game with one of the scariest atmospheres we have ever seen. It just lacks that clear and addictive story that keeps us searching for more. The story isn't the only unfair aspect of Outlast 2. With the only option being to run from your enemies, escaping death is easier said than done. Due to a boost in the enemy AI, hiding becomes a near impossible task, constantly having you baffled at how the enemy managed to hunt you down. Previously, Outlast 1 enemies will chase you as long as they can see you and pull you out of your hiding by your collar. Outlast 2, however, has enemies seeing beyond their line of sight, spotting your hiding place from distances unknown. And believe us, no matter what, your first encounter with the boss will have you lying in a puddle of your own blood. And because of the game's AI scripting, the player will die over and over again. That's why, in Outlast 2, hiding is of no use. You're just going to die again and again and again and again. It doesn't help that you can't even pretend to fight back. It's just irritating. However, while the enemy knows all about the location of the player, a new addition gives the player a little more information about the enemy's location. We're talking about the camera's microphone. By turning on the sound channel, the microphone can tell you where the enemy is and how close they are to you, helping you plan the best escape or where to fruitlessly hide. Exploring in Outlast 2 requires the use of night vision mode, which certainly intensifies the scary atmosphere, but at the cost of quite an unpleasant visual experience. That green on green screen is your only way of seeing through the night, but the enemy AI doesn't need it to find where you're hiding. Now on to the best part of Outlast 2, the graphics engine. Outlast 2 is an absolutely beautiful game, and it runs on Unreal Engine 3 2004. Red Barrel Studios did a fantastic job of creating a realistic but atmospheric shading effect. With nighttime being the most common time of day, lighting is certainly of utmost importance. The authentic lighting in the rickety old houses and the shadows of passing evil do wonders at adding to the ominous tone that really makes Outlast 2 shine. 
However, the graphics do come with their fair share of downfalls. The scenery and lighting are absolutely top notch, but shortcuts were definitely taken with the character models, who look like standard additions to any developer kit. Additionally, many of the interactable objects appear to be signed off on while still in the good enough category. Overall, Outlast 2 has more in the pros category than the cons, including graphics, sounds, and storyline. Definitely better than the first. However, the AI scripting is definitely unfair to the player. The player has to overcome all odds to elude the enemy and make it to the next checkpoint. Anyone who likes scary games that constantly push you for all you've got, Outlast 2 is certainly what you're looking for. So that's it for our Outlast 2 review. If you like it, be sure to subscribe to future reviews by clicking in the link here, or reading the written view by following the link in the description. Stay tuned for future reviews from Tyware. Until next time, bye!